what's good y'all support ross back at again with another video so i just finished watching an amazing promo segment between mjf and samoa joe now i have to give some context uh i did see a uh, a clip of after uh mjf and adam cole retained their uh ring of honor tag team championships at uh all out or whatnot they're walking up the ramp mjf is selling like this neck injury he's walking with adam cole or whatnot well he's kind of ahead of adam cole and then samoa joe is coming out for his match samoa joe is walking down the ramp and as he's walking down the ramp he shoves mjf mjf obviously was not having it the crowd did their oohs and ahs adam cole tried to get mjf to calm down and he's looking at at, at samoa joe with this just disdain look of of hatred and i loved it samoa joe showing off his title like like while he's in the ring to the hard cam and mjf says screw that i'm a pro i'm a person of you know what i'm saying you do something i'm it's on site so even though he's hurt he runs back down to the ring and starts attacking samoa joe they start brawling it looks like joe is starting to get the best of them a little bit that's when a whole bunch of security come out and they're trying to drag them apart from each other samoa joe at this point is loving it he's just like sitting sitting on top of the the turnbuckle or whatnot he's sitting on top of the turnbuckle just laughing he's enjoying it while mjf has all these guys around him trying to restrain them and that's all they needed to do that's all they needed to do and once again it's it's so much storytelling in just one one simple gesture of shoving mjf and out of all the people to shove mjf it would be samoa joe because there's some history there so we get to uh tonight's dynamite someone actually sent this to me i've actually been working on videos but i was gonna check out dynamite to you know later on once i finished up everything but someone that sent this to me saying i needed to check it out and i was already intrigued so i checked it out and i must say mjf has the crowd in the palm of his hand and it was fantastic anything he said or did they were all behind so pretty much he calls out some more joe's like yeah some more joe come out here let's talk let's talk my boy let's 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 i, I got an issue with you Samoa Joe comes out there crowd ch chanting what they usually chant for Samoa Joe. Samoa is gonna kill you whatever whatever so crowd comes out there or whatnot and samoa joe the 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 tagline through this entire thing was samoa joe calling him a kid that was like the the reoccurring thing he was like so what's your issue with me kid and every time he would do that mjf would get even madder get even more upset and that was pretty much the back and forth you know um i, I like the jabs they were going at each other they, they even mentioned you know <laughs> mjf even mentioned the reason why you come out here or whatnot you know because you hear like a uh you hear like an ice cream truck so this is why you come out here and i like the little reference to him uh doing uh uh being being the uh the actor in uh twisted metal you know and obviously uh what's the character's name he's playing uh sweet tooth in twisted metal and we all know sweet tooth will drive around in the ice cream truck uh ice cream truck so i thought that was a nice little tie-in tidbit there him throwing his jokes at him or whatnot but every time samoa joe would respond it'll just be like so i'm gonna ask you then again what's your issue you have with me little kid and it get to the point where where MJF was like, you call me little kid one more time. <laughs> we gonna have a problem. He right up in his face. And then MJF tells the story. He tells his story 
of what his issue is with Samoa Joe. And basically, he talks about William Regal, you know, and how he thought, you know what I'm saying? Well, William Regal was kind of blowing him off, and he told him how he sent him packing to NXT. And if you want, I can send you packing back to NXT. But he basically mentioned how he was young in NXT and how he ended up being a security guard for, you know, a wrestler he looked up to. And that said wrestler he looked up to was Samoa Joe. And the fact that all of a sudden, if you guys remember, and this was crazy that, you know, saying someone had sent this to me a long time ago and, you know, it was crazy knowing that that was MJF. So to see him, you know, pretty much get pushed by Samoa Joe right into the wall because he's walking with him as supposed security and MJF just kind of shoves him into the wall or whatnot. And then keeps and he smirks and keeps going or whatnot. And it was just one of those type of things where it's a callback to what happened at All Out. Pretty much the same thing happened, but different scenario. Joe's just walking out, MJA walk, uh, MJF walking up the ramp, and he shoves him again. Different company, different set of circumstances. He's the AEW World Champion, and he's disrespecting him. And Oh, I just, that was just such a good callback, and I'm glad they brought that up. And you would, obviously, if someone did you like that, you would always remember that. So it was funny they brought that back up, or whatever. And Samoa Joe, you know, he, he kind of no selling it. It's like, it's not a big deal to him, or whatnot. And MJF just letting him know, like, I get it, you, you want to make me upset. You know, so you can skip the line, but no, buddy, that's not how it works. You got to beat everybody else in the tournament to get to me, okay? You know what I'm saying? And at that point, it was all said and done, but I love what Samoa Joe had said in the end, and this was this was cold-blooded, boy. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. If I was MJF, we just would have started throwing blows right then and there. He said, no, nah, no, nah, you got it all wrong, Max. I didn't shove you into the wall because I was trying to demean you or come off like I was better than you. You want to know why I did that? I shoved you into the wall because I knew you was a little bitch. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. I, me personally, I wouldn't take that <laughs> type of disrespect. But it was all part of the mind games to get under MJF's skin. Or whatnot. It was he was disrespectful. That that's all it was. Just to show you, you know, just because I knew you was a you was a little B or whatnot. So they like, you know what? Small Joe's like, you know what? I'm going, you know, I'm gonna let this slide, whatever. You know, I'm gonna beat everybody in that tournament, and then I'm gonna take that title from you. So you have a good day. So as he's going through the ropes or whatnot. Of course, Samoa Joe being the heel that he is. He pulls on the middle ropes, which caused MJF to get hung up as he's going through the ropes. Then he starts attacking him or whatnot. And then he picks up the AEW championship, holds it above his head. And that's when MJF hits him with a low blow and starts beating up on him. He starts biting him, actually. He starts giving them the, the stumps in the corner or whatnot. And then, you know, MJF fired up. He rips off his shirt. He's about to go back for the attack. But... Samoa Joe is Samoa Joe. He picks him up and he slams him down with authority. Obviously, MJF is selling the neck. He has like uh the, the Kinesi tape, the tape, you know, around his neck or whatnot. So he's selling that injury. And he's about to set him up for his finisher. I think the muscle buster. I believe that's what it's called. Uh whatnot from the from the corner. And that's when Adam Cole comes out there to make the save. Because he, he hits that, then MJF is definitely done. And you can see just Samoa Joe's talking about, what's wrong, kid? Just being disrespectful. And I love it. I love it. Honestly, I am looking forward to that feud. That's that's going to be a quite interesting feud if he is able to win the tournament and, and go on to face MJF. I hope they set it up that way. Because I want to see it. I would love to see that this was great it's a nice little callback even though it was in a different company still a nice little callback we still have some history and Samoa Joe is definitely 
the the heel in this situation and mjf he's gonna have to really come with it and they're selling the story of his neck at not being at 100 percent samoa joe knows that he's gonna do whatever he can to get the upper hand uh to become the AEW world champion so it's gonna be very interesting to see what they do but i definitely love this segment if you haven't seen it go check it out uh it's it's worth your time and hopefully we get some type of match with them going forward in the future so comment down below let me know are you guys excited for a potential mjf uh samoa joe program for the AEW world heavyweight championship let me know because you know I definitely am. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See you on the next one.